Today we are going to discuss the full moon that is going to occur on the 25th of January 2024. It is known as the wolf moon because the howling of wolves were more recognizable during this time of the year. In addition, this will be a lot more than just the moon. That is because Chiron and Mars are square the moon and Pluto is conjunct this aspect. Now, what does that mean? We'll get into that a bit later on. But for now, my name is Janard Martin. If you're new to the channel, um, I'm going to introduce you to a lot of esoteric, spiritual, metaphysical or occult belief systems that you may have never heard about before. So if that's your line of interest, then you are in the right place. Also, if you believe in a reality where the mind exists over matter, then you are in the greatest place imaginable. Our collective existence is all about duality. Ideas need to be more real than objects to you because everything needs a manifestation process and a portal to exist in. For example, the moon exists on a 28 day cycle, which is alignment with the Earth's rhythm and progression. And during such time, the full moon becomes the place of fruition, of drama, of fullness in our lives collectively. The ancients believed that hallucinations were much easier to accept than the mere objects that exist before their eyes. In history, gods and spirits were believed to control the aspects of the earth and exercise power over it. That's how the ancients described communal convulsion or a large group of people believing or experiencing a similar thing at the same time. It was highly dangerous to engage with the spirits of the world and thus controlled communion became more accepted by the mystery schools during that time. A prime example of the level of evolution that the ancients had above the modern day realm was that Sirius C was a three-star system that was discovered by the Egyptians. The Chinese also later discovered this, but only in 1995, the French called it Sirius C. And that is a telltale sign that the ancients were far more advanced than they were perceived to be. This is also, and can be combined with the whole ideology that the ancients worship the sun and that the sun is not a mere object in the sky, but it is a sentient being with its own life force energy that enters into us via our heart space consciousness or heart consciousness. Your kidneys were also ruled by and is ruled by the planet of Venus, which governs your sexual energy. And thus your kidney consciousness is another facet through which the energy centers culminate collectively and give you the experience of what it is to be human. Aristotle and Strabo also believed that the sun is a mere lens through which the spiritual influence of God enters your life and existence. Just how the sun God rays from the spiritual realm to the earthly realm, so does the gods of various influence ray through the constellations and the cosmos. As the positions of the heavenly bodies change, so do the pattern of influence on the earth, thus shaping history and time itself. It was believed that the gods and the ancients prepare us for great experiences and opportunities through the constellations and the stars and the cosmos. The deep structure of our lives is thus described by the celestial bodies which we discuss on this channel. A very common quote is, as I am moved by the desire of Venus, when Saturn returns, I am sorely tested. 
So for the month of January 2024, there has been key prompts that have shaped the energetic influence of us all. And that is, where have you been cared for or not cared for? Is your compassion leveraged against your level of self-assertion? Do you have any level of self-assertion? Do you have emotional wounds and boundaries in relation to your level of assertiveness? What is being concealed and brought into light this month for you by the full moon? What is being illuminated for you? What is beneath the perception that others have of yourself? Deep and personal transformation and the radioactive effects it has to transform and transcend your life. Now, it's important to remember that this is a full moon at five degrees in Leo. Leo is a fire and fixed sign. It is the sign of magnetism, of attention, of drama, of the thespian, of the courage, of romance. All those things will be highlighted to you. Pay attention to anything that's at five degrees in your chart that will be very much highlighted. This is the perfect time to exercise your creative expression, to be in the limelight, to take upon leadership roles and positions in your career, in life, in your family. All those things will definitely be coming up for you to pay attention to. It brings symptoms of insomnia and extreme erratic emotions. The Mars and Chiron aspect, your wounds and your hidden wounds and your physical assertiveness will extend the symptoms of this full moon before and after the time period. If you are a fire sign, you will receive very much favorable <laughs> trines in your chart. If you are an Aquarius or an earth or water sign, your aspects will be more so challenged during this time because it is forming a direct opposition for you. Nevertheless, it is the perfect time to embody what it is you've been meaning to embody for a while. It's the time to be bold, express your creativity, express your skills, talents and abilities. The spark of new romance and love is definitely on its way to you as well, if that's what you've been hoping for. Every single planet will be direct until the 2nd of May 2024. So that means the energy is flowing in an organic and authentic and structured way in your life. Everything is unfolding as is. There's no resistance to what is happening. Especially that that comes from your quote unquote free will. During this time, you will get a great boost of personal magnetism, perhaps even charisma. So please use your talents boldly because it's a great window of time to use whatever it is you've been sleeping on about yourself. Keep in mind that this video continues until I do some readings and it doesn't matter what your sign is, just pick the card that resonates with you, pick the timestamp. See you soon. This is a part of the reading where you breathe in deeply, inhale, exhale, and pick either group one, two, or three and then follow the timestamp to see what your message holds. Group one, welcome to your reading. So I'm getting energy of abandonment. I'm getting energy of rejection. Can we get some clarity, please, spirit? Can we get some clarity? Okay, there's a sense of like scarcity. You don't or may not have the resources that you may have previously had. You feel really stuck and in limbo. You feel like no one's really around to help you at this time. You feel like all the struggles that you've been dealing with is totally your own. And you have dependence or people dependent on you. And you feel like you're really just struggling. The year just started. Oh man, too many cards, spirit. The year just started and you feel like a bit in a rut. You're not sure how this year would pan out. There's a lot of uncertainty in this energy. This part of the collective is very uncertain. Mm. I'm getting a relationship ended 
or someone withdrew an offer. I'm getting that you may have ended a relationship quite recently or someone withdrew an offer that they previously promised to you. It could be Korea, it could be really romance. But either way, it like incapacitated you because you were really hoping that it would turn out a certain way, but it didn't. Can we get some more clarity, please? More clarity, please. Hmm. I get there is forward movement at this time for you. There is forward movement. The underlying energy is definitely the hermit. You're feeling really alone and abandoned. But Spirit is telling me three. So I'm going to shuffle it one more time. Okay, so three of cups is reversed. So perhaps people around you may be quite deceitful at this time. Perhaps during this month, people have been celebrating without you. People have been having great times without you and haven't extended an invitation toward you. I'm getting that you're very isolated right now. The energy is really introspective at this time and you feel like what you have is not enough. So um, we're going to get some more clarity from the Angel Oracle deck and see what your angels have in store for you. This is the Angel Answers deck by Radley Valentine. Group one, what is your angels telling you right now? What are your angels telling you right now? During this period of brief obstacles, what is it that you have to say? Get more information. Okay, get more information about what you were promised or the job offer or look into alternatives that will put you in a good direction at this time. Oops, that flew out. Ask for help from others. So I'm getting that group one really is a part of the collective that does not like asking help from other people. Very much hyper independent energy. And the reason why you're hyper independent is because you don't want to ask for help from anyone else. But this is coming in heavy. The people who are celebrating without you are just assuming that what you are going through is really not personal. So they're not including you. So um, I think so the bottom of this Oracle deck is success. So I would say I'm hearing three months from now, you will feel far more committed to your journey and you will enjoy what it is that you're doing. Group two, I really want to hear for you. Let's see what is in store for you this month. So uh, a lot of nostalgia going on in your uh, current energy. A lot of reminiscing about the past. A lot of assuming that things are not like how it used to be. So that is really bothering you in your energy right now. I'm getting very much stuck in the past sort of energy. Lack of abundance, not focusing on forward movement in your life at this time. Can we get more clarity for group two, please? Ooh. Okay, so um, there are two uh, people in your life that are very disappointed in you at this time. There is one person that financially aids you that is either very disappointed or dismissive, very aggressive towards you. I'm getting that you are disappointed and this is not even a financial issue that you're disappointed by. It's more like an emotional wound that's exacerbated. The Queen of Pentacles is indicating to me that you're looking at the money like, is this all? Is this all that's available to me? Is this all that's available to me? Like, I mean, really? Is there more to this life? And obviously this person is in reverse because they're not really happy with the decisions that you've been making right now. Um, geez, Three of Cups is really coming up um, for the second time here. So the Three of Cups relate to very familiar people celebrating. The Hermit came out again. Very isolating energy. I think for group two, just like group one, there's an, ele there's an element of solitude going on. There's an element of death too. 
um recently you've lost someone close to you it doesn't need to be a physical death but you've lost something or someone close to you um i'm getting a father figure i'm getting an uncle but group two is heavy in the collective regarding like loss like finances are not an issue for you group two it's more so just the resistance to the present moment right now i'm getting that you are celebrating but you're not really having the time that you should be having or enjoying the time that you really want to have when you go out i'm getting six shuffle six times four five six okay King, knights of cups wanted to come out okay someone is gonna um take you out of this feeling of discomfort that you're experiencing right now someone's gonna give you an offer perhaps it's a three of cups offer to go out somewhere um yeah you think that there may be conflict when this person invites you out but really it won't because the wands are reversed so people are more receptive to you at this time um yeah people are very much more receptive to you at this time and people perceive you as very indecisive right now you're unable to decide what it is that's going on in your life and people are actually concerned about you so the hierophant is more so traditional um ideals and beliefs in the world so the way people are perceiving you right now is very indecisive very isolated very much stuck in the past can we have some advice from the angel answers for group two group two is feeling like on a different journey right now like a completion of a cycle is happening what are we saying for group two what are the angels saying for group two what are your angels saying group two take action okay your angels are basically saying like stop moping around get to it whatever it is that you want to do get to it ask for help from others again i feel like this is heavy in the collective energy right now this period of isolation of not feeling like not feeling like things are going the way that you expect them to look for a sign so the signs are there and the sign is here right now and the sign is for you to take action group two what is in the stars for you this month and moving forward in the immediate energy ace of pentacles so group three uh, i am of the belief that you are the luckiest group so if you chose group three um things are progressing really fast in your life things are moving fast especially after this full moon things will be pro progressing especially financially for you unlike group one and group two you're not really um in limbo about the future or reminiscing about the past and you seem very much driven with direction right now you have a cohesive plan i'm getting and you have people who are supportive in your life um let's get the underlying energy okay 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 yeah you have a support system you have a male figure in your life that's really supportive of you perhaps even supports you financially but with conditions of course um you recently had a conflict um conflict with people who are close to you this led you to isolate for a while um i'm getting like isolation is heavy in the collective energy right now all three groups have had an element of isolation um too many cards too many cards spirit what is group three's message okay okay group three really wants a romantic connection and partnership um but doesn't want to disappoint the king of wands it's either that or you've already disappointed people with your romantic decisions somehow and it's affected your immediate relationships with the people close to you um can we get more oh too many cards okay yeah we have finances coming in heavy uh this person that you are romantically attracted to will make you an offer a romantic offer of some sort 
to go out on a date. I suspect to take you out of your isolation. You are too much career driven and focused right now. So you're not really caring about the emotional facets, even though it's a part of you that, you know, you relate to so strongly and you wish you had fulfilled. Yeah, I think this is what's gonna happen for you in Feb, especially for Valentine's Day. You are definitely going to have a day for Valentine's Day. You just have to be open and receptive to it. Let's hear what the angels are saying. What are the angels saying? Is there love? Is there love here for February for group three? Oh, perfect timing. Wow. Would you look at that? Your angels are saying the timing is perfect for you next month. You just need to allow it to happen. You need to be in the right space. Let's get one more from your angels. Recovery. Okay, so you're going through a period of recovery right now. And that's why the timing will be perfect for February after this new moon for you. Financial abundance is definitely evidently clear here. But other than that, thank you for joining.